Hello guys, it's Monica from EDAC. Today I will talk about post-production in V-Ray Frame Buffer. Let's start. In this tutorial, I will use model from the free V-Ray for SketchUp visualization course. If you are interested, check the description below the video or click in the upper right corner over here. Before we start post-production, let's discuss the lights in our model. This is very important because in post-production, I will also manipulate the lights in the scene. I go to the Asset Editor, Lights tab, and here I have my lights in the scene. Firstly, I set DOM light, the intensity is 100, and I've uploaded HDRI map. Here I have sun lights. Let's see that I turn on custom orientation. The sun is above the horizon and I place the lights on the side with windows to let the sunlight go through the window on the right side. Here in color and intensity, I set intensity multiplier to one because I can change it later in post-production, but I changed size multiplier to 20 to have softer shadows. Additionally, I place two rectangle lights. First rectangle light is over here and the color is white, intensity is 30, but I've changed directionality. What is important? When this value is set to zero, the light is emitted at the 180 degree angle, creating a smooth light and very soft shadow. But if this value is set to 1, the light is 100% directional parallel, resulting in very sharp shadows and strong illumination. That's why I changed this value to 0.8 to have sharp shadows and intense light. I also check this plane as invisible to hide the plane of light. We have also second rectangle light. I place it on the left side. It will be very weak light. Intensity will be very low. For now it's set to 30, but in post-production I will change this value. Directionality is set to zero, so the shadows will be very smooth. And I set the plane of light as invisible. Okay, great. Now we can move on to post-production. What is very important is to create two of the most important render elements. It's light mix and cryptomat. To do this, I click on create asset icon, render element, and turn on light mix. Here in the light mix properties, I can change this parameter, group by. In the scene, I have four lights only, so individual light option is fine. But if you have multiple, very similar lights which are copied, you can change it to group instances. I will leave it as it is. That's not all. I will create additional render elements. It will be cryptomat. It's over here. And using this render element, I will be able to change the color of armchair, painting, change the saturation of the wall, and even more. Okay, I think that we are ready and we can render the scene. This is our visualization without post-production. I think that it looks fine, but it's quite boring. There is no contrast in the scene and we can improve lights. So firstly, I click on the source light mix. This option is available because I've created light mix render element. And here I can change the lights in the scene. I can turn them on or off. I can change intensity of particular lights, for example, increase or decrease intensity of the dome light. And I can also change the color of the light. For example, I would change dome light to red color and looks different. So let's see that we can change our render as we want. Okay, if you want to reset this color, just right click on the color. And again, we have default white color. I can decrease dome light. I think that it's quite intense. Rectangle light 2, this is a light on the right side. And rectangle light 3, this is a soft light on the left side. So firstly, I will change rectangle light 2. I can also decrease it. Okay, it looks fine. Remember that you can always change the color. I will change it to warmer color. And here I can decrease rectangle light on the left side with low intensity. And 
here I have sunlight. Let's say that the sunlight is very intense. I can decrease and it looks great. So in this way, we've changed our lights in the scene. I think that changing lights in the post-production is much easier and faster. Okay, let's move on. Now I will create additional layer, which I use all the time. This is exposure. Changing exposure value, we can brighter or darken the scene. I will only increase exposure slightly and increase contrast. I always increase contrast. I think that with high contrast, our visualization looks much better. And that's all. This is before and after. Remember that highlight burn reduces burnouts in the scene. We can notice them over here. They are not very intense, but let's see that if I decrease it, these burnouts are not so visible. Remember not to set highlight burn to zero because uh, we will lose contrast in the scene. In this case, I will set one and using next layer, I will reduce these burnouts in the scene. Okay, let's create additional layer. It will be filmic tone map, which I use all the time. Using this layer, we can change the contrast, shadows and lights. The definitions of these values are quite complicated. I always change shoulder strength to make it brighter or darker. I change linear angle and check the best effect before and after. Okay, and I think that it looks much better with filmic sun map. We have also created crypto mat render element and now we can use it. So I will create a new layer. It will be hue saturation. Using this layer, we can change saturation of the visualization, change the color. I don't change lightness in hue saturation option because I can change this lightness in the exposure and it will look much better, much more natural. So here I only change hue and saturation. But this time I will use this layer to change armchair only. To do that, I click on this arrow, add new mask layer. I choose script mat mask. I pick element, for example, this armchair. Let's say that it has changed immediately because in the properties tab, we have changed hue values. And let's say that we can change the color, saturation, and it looks different. I will create additional layer. I really like this layer and the same. I choose crypto mat, for example, this wall, go to the properties and I can change the color of the wall. I can change also saturation and change it. If you want to save the settings in post-production, it's very easy. Just click on this icon, save layer three presets and save it in the folder. Okay, let's see that I will change some things in a filmic tone map and I would like to load three presets. Just go to load layer three presets and upload this one. And again, everything looks fine. This is the same with light mix. I can save light settings. Just click on save icon and save it in the folder. And now I can change properties. For example, I can increase sunlight, decrease dome light, decrease rectangle light on the right side, and we have different lighting in the scene. I can save it as well. And we have created two different scenes. If you want to change it, just load first light mix. And again, we have first scene area of the lights. And in this way, it's using V-Ray frame buffer and layers on the right side, we can change and improve our renders quickly. Which render elements and layers you are using in post-production? Let me know in the comments below. And remember about free V-Ray for SketchUp visualization course. You can check the link in the description below. Bye.